<laughs> okay so let's we start then you can share the videos with him how is your mother now uh, Asho? yeah yeah she is good uh, yesterday uh, she did first oh okay okay fine <laughs> So we have seen yesterday actually how we can go for connect rest. Actually, like similarly, if you have to use the connect so okay. So how we can go with connect so okay since the process is similar okay only thing is that so today we are going to see how we can go with the connect so okay yeah so connect we'll going to be the connect so today so connect so if you see again we have widgets okay we have create soap integration okay we can go with either this way connected and metadata widget or we can go with the soap integration so let's say if you want to go with uh, today we'll go with integration connected and metadata widget okay So here you can see that like what you want to do you want to generate the connector rules okay you want to use which interface dot net ejv java like main thing our purpose is visual okay like so quickly we will go with the visual file okay where you want to create that so the rule set you can give a uh, int layer of it okay purchase int okay And what the base class you want to give? So you can give your base class as well. So we can go with the organization level int class. An activity you want to create into the this fine. Okay. Yeah. So click next. So now I feel like you need to give the document URL, local file name or document contains. So if you have that usdel, you can go with like if you see here, you need to paste, paste your complete visual detail or you want to use a local file name, it will load for that. Or if you want to give the URL, you can go with that as well. So let's see, we want to look for net, any specific SOAP service. So look for web service visitor okay so there are some of the web services so look for sample yeah so there is a click a quick weather one okay or uh, we have some more on that. 
let's see with uh, a different one yeah we go with uh, let's see with this option So you can see that this is equally like uh, two of the service which is there. Okay. So let's say we want to use the temp to Fahrenheit. Okay. So this is actually you can see that uh, we need to look for the whistle. Or just they are giving the no. We cannot use this. This is actually like just request and response. We need the whistle. Uh, yeah, this is the visual we are looking for. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we need this. Okay, so let's give this URL here. Okay, w three school dot xml temp convert asm sex visual. Once you will give this, what it will does that it will read that visual and it will check what are the operation it's available in that. Okay, so what the service name you are looking for? So that's actually like the name of that is a temp convert, and you have which one you want on from that. So let's say temp convert so. Okay, so that's the so protocol for that. Okay, so you can see it's actually like the two operation which is there. It's coming now. Okay. Hello. Oh, Keshwan left. Maybe joining back. Okay. So like, see if you want to test the method, you can see it here. So you can see now uh, the value. Okay, so string value you can put it here. So we can put any value. So let's say we want to put it hundred. Okay. Okay. The link Visdal contains the request, is it? Or like, I mean, when you click that hyperlink Visdal, it is showing, uh, you know. A lot of the in in tax, right? So that is the request, or what does that visual content? Web service description la uh, language. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually what we did. It we try to use that. Move permanently. I think. No, what is contained in the visual actually? We are using it here, right?
अशोक Yeah, hello, Mukesh. Asho, can you make me the presenter? I think something got wrong and it stopped. Asho. Okay. I'm getting this error, so just want to check what was this error. Transport layer error. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we have one more visitor. I don't know if it's going to work or not. अभी पापा को पढ़ने कर ले अभी बाद में करेंगे पापा Do we have this?
this is not running a let us check check will go for a better one have some errors there himself I think there is some problem with the service. Okay, we need to look for a, uh, another web service. Uh, Mukesh, I have few like uh, three, four questions. Maybe you can uh, answer them. Yeah, you can take the question. I'll yeah. I'll look for the before one. Okay. So you can ask your questions now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, first of all, this Visdel, that hyperlink, what exactly does that Visdel contain? I mean, the data or what is that Visdel link contain? Yeah, that's actually the web service. 
uh, that will contain the what method, how, how you are going to interact with the other system. So we will contain all the methods, properties and everything within that. Okay, I mean uh, we are requesting for the data from the other system, right? So that visitor yes. link contains the methods which are required to request. Yeah, so, methods, format, XML. The Hello. Hello. Yeah, Mukesh. Uh, yeah, this is a click and see. This is a visual which contain all the methods, data types. Everything will be there in that. Okay. Including the data which we need from them, that is also there. Yeah. Yes. The yes. question. Put a response. Request and response both will be there in the same visual. Then what is that we we will be fed? Searching from them, I mean the date. Uh, the gift. That will be, structure will be there, not data. Okay, okay. Depend on the request, it will send okay. you the different different data for that. Okay, okay. So yeah, one more question is like we have this PXPY and PZ in Pega, right? What are those PXPY and PZ? They are the out of the box properties. Okay, I mean, what is the difference? Like, why do we label like that? PY is actually you can able to use yourself. You can set the values and that one. That is a list. Okay. Record. PX is actually list. Record. What is that? List. PY. PY. A yeah. Restriction. Setting the okay. Values, restricted. You can use them, but PX you can use them, okay. but you cannot set the values in them. You can okay. restrict only. Like PZ is internal use. Okay, internal use by ourselves Pega or this? Pega, no, Pega uses internally to process, create the uh, example. We can use that method read only. We cannot use it okay. in any other purpose. Okay, okay. So next question is like uh, we often uh, talk about like Pega internal DB and external DB, right? So can you give an example like internal DB is the blob, but uh, like does Pega in, in itself contain any DB or what is the main difference? Yeah, like see where Pega is installed, right? One database is there. That's the Postgres database. Oh. Always Postgres database? No, it's like we, in personal edition it's always going to be Postgres. Otherwise, okay. it's database as well. And this okay. one I discussed right in the first class. Yeah, yeah. DB2 Just I note down a few questions. Okay, okay. okay. So, external DBs and again like Oracle or anything which we can that is where you don't have the Pega installed like if you say you have a separate application you are making the data in that right and now okay, you okay. Use the same data in your application now okay okay, okay. now like uh, can you go to the application once like the data yeah yeah go to the uh, data yeah Yeah, uh, choose like uh, customer. It, it is not loading. Yeah. Okay, here if you see on the on the main class, it is data data. It is EJ data customer, right? Data class it, it is having. Yes. But previously, when I have asked you a question on about the reference with Workdash and data, you said the main data type is, is like go to purchase work pool once. Uh, you have defined that, that the page. The yeah, page. here you, you said like the class is in work, but the individual properties and pages are in data. So we can use this all this in the work dash class, but other data types are created in data dash class, right? Yes. The property like the structure is created into the data class. But we are using them in the work class as a page. Uh no, like if you see if you see the customer data type, go to customer data type. Yeah, here it, the the main class which it is created is in data class. Yes, right. Right. 
and then this customer id first name the individual properties are also in data class is it yes that's right okay so now if the data class now, now i want to use this pages or properties created in this data type in the work dash class how do we use them yeah that actually i define as a page here right i define a page with that data type class so okay one, so the data class that's it this is a page which is using the properties of that class oh so you have created this purchase work pool specifically to you know club all these data types which are in data classes to work class yes okay so if not this work pool how do we use it like we'll have to create this work pool definitely to to use the, all these data types in the work class work pool is actually just your uh, as a class which is the work class okay so if you want to use any property here you need to create it here as well right okay okay so, so payment go to payment data Okay. So, uh, so in the purchase work pool, you have uh, defined all these data types uh, uh, so that we can use all them in the work dash layer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. One more thing is like field value. You have explained field value, but I could not understand that field value when I was checking the video. Can you just talk about field value? Field value. So what actually can say? Field value is nothing but uh, when you <coughs> like see, you have py status work. different values you can see that you have completed failed in progress new new open okay so that's actually like you can say like when you see the drop down you see all these values there okay right so in place okay. of the work, creating as a local list or table edit you create them as a field value so that all the values will be available there okay So, I mean, it is again a drop down. Yeah, actually, like this is actually like the valid values for that work type. Okay. Like UI status work, so you want actually different status, right? So okay. Yeah. Instead of like like creating as a uh, local list or prompt list, mm -hmm. as a uh, field value. Okay. So like you can, so like in future also, if you want to add it, you just create new field value rule, so that will be add. It is a valid value for that field. Okay. So why do we go for this? I mean, why why are you saying we instead of local list or prompt list? 
uh, only the difference between this is if you like this one you can localize localize means you can uh, give a different value right if you say i want to uh, make a like in japanese language right so local list okay. promptly will not convert okay but this one okay. the status if you want to show that in different language you can able to show that one the text type will be in the other role yeah oh it so pega supports different languages as well yeah 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 actually pega is actually like uh, used in different language so if you no is it have a concept of localization you can pega you know the language your application can be converted to any language oh my god okay so chinese japanese everything will come yes you can convert your applications to any language oh my god okay <laughs> so this is localization okay uh, like a complete application will be look like not in english it will be look like the base of yeah i got it <laughs> yeah so we have provided that okay. Uh, you can convert your applications to any any language. Okay. 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 Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Value. If you see you, uh, <clears throat> what actually we do is, so if you say you are opening a pending delivery, okay. So okay. this is rule is pending delivery. Whatever the value you want to write it here, it you can put it here. Okay. So, what so this language, here? yeah, that's the localized label. You can see that localized label. So, if you want oh. to convert into a new thing, you can put it here. So, the new language or like whatever you are saying. Yes. So okay. that it will, <clears throat> it will be going to create a new rule, new rule set with the language specific. Okay. and that will be on the top of it so it will first take that field value from there and then specific value will be picked up from that oh i mean it is created on the higher uh, rule set so that it will take from there and then it's completely new rule set for the translated values okay okay uh, how do we do that just like save as or we have any option here to no it's very it is not that easy as well you need to do okay okay got it yeah that oh that Oh, fine, fine, okay. Yeah. No, that's okay. If you want to convert to Danish, okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to like, <clears throat> so if you have any. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. Find that which rule set you want to use. Oh, okay. So like all the fields are coming. Oh. Okay. So here we can choose the field value rules so that uh, we can reuse them. In Is it come? Is it like uh, so? You have all these only field values are accepted in this localization. Yes. Okay. Not everything. So if you say like uh, you can see this one already enabled for fourteen errors was mm. six. Okay. Successfully enabled for three. So that is like you can say. These all rules required that. For localization, HTML okay. manual translations or something, we need to do it. Yeah. Okay. So, but field values you said they are used for this localization, right? So here they are primarily supported. Yeah, they will be done to be supported. Okay. So one more thing is like uh, declare index. You you. You said we will cover later, so I just kept a question mark there. So, the index we actually like optimize, right? The embedded page property when we uh, optimize that or actually expose that, I show you that it actually like created the separate declare index there. Okay.
Hello, Mukesh. Yes, sir. Yeah, so declare index, I'll check it in the video again. If it is like not there, maybe you can, I'll notify you again. We can discuss it. Okay. okay. And uh, one more thing is like, what is the difference between dynamic layout and freeform layout? Uh, yeah, dynamic layout are responsive in nature, freeform layout is not in responsive in nature. Okay, that means like, uh, uh, Freeform layout is like not uh, compatible with mobile and something like that, is it? That is not structured as well. Like you can put any label, anything like as you wish. That is the free. Like in okay. Layout, you have actually some structure you have real. Like this is the format you need to use, right? Oh, okay. Freeform layout, there is no format. Like you can define your own way of doing it. Okay. So dynamic, I thought it is dynamic in nature, and then we can use it. But yeah, so it's like responsive, right? Actually, that the main feature is responsive. Okay, but freeform is also again the same thing, right? We but we can use it anywhere as we want. So it is also responsive. But it's not responsive. Okay. So what is responsive? Responsive meaning what? Responsive means that uh, the compatible with the devices, multiple devices that I told mobile, tablet. Okay, okay. So that is in terminology is called as responsiveness. Okay. Uh, and hardness, you said like there are four types of hardness new, confirm, and all. New, confirm, perform, review. Okay, so uh, is there anything else in to discuss there or? The, just know them is enough. Yeah, when you create the case, right, when you are doing the assignment or perform, so that's the perform harness. When you come in the first time, right, you see the okay. uh, uh, new harness. When it's like okay. if you are not working, you see the confirm harness. Okay, when we are not working, it is confirm. Yes, so that is the, actually like the work status, actually you, no one is working, so that will be like, it will display that work status is in the perform handle. Huh? Okay, new is once we started, new confirm, perform is when we are on the work, is it? Sorry? New is when we enter, confirm is when we are not working on it. And then uh, review is when? New confirm. New confirm, perform, and review. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Can you come yeah, no. So we have four types you said right? new, confirm, perform and review. So new is, is one, once the uh, flow is started, is it? Yes. The first time when you see this uh, like a okay.
so this is your new harness okay now see this is your new harness This is perform harness. This is perform harness. That means where we are performing the task. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So just the screen we can tell them what is here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the like not review actually we have created this review yeah as so a manager if you like want to see that he will see the review harness so if something is done like so now if you see if you route it to someone else mm -hmm. right when we routing that yeah. that will show you confirm harness because there is okay. no assignment on that we need to perform on that perform will not be there yeah <clears throat> so that will be show you confirm harness on that channel okay if there is no confirm we are doing routing so that becomes a confirm harness yeah that time it will like no one is going to perform something on that harness right yeah. so that will be yeah. like, it can be either review or the confirm harness on that time okay okay so that is okay. uh, i don't know it's like taking time so we we'll no that's now. okay yeah okay sure so are you joining cpb batch no actually uh, i am uh, you, you know seeing all the videos and learning i am oh okay okay back to back i am doing some other work so, <laughs> so that i'm going to this is now your confirm harness okay okay so there is no action need to be performed now okay 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 so confirm will have no option to do any action yeah that is just for confirmation okay okay Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mukesh. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. We will meet again yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Sure. Bye.